Welcome in, along with Eric Eager, I'm Steve Palazzolo. Today discussing the college football playoff. It's all brought to you by Ackridge, who is the official smoked sausage of the college football playoff. The first reveal is this week. And here at PFF, we do things a little bit differently. We tell you, in our terms, who the best teams are. So let's get into it. Based off our numbers, nine weeks into the college football season, who are the best teams, Eric? Let's start from the top before we debate number four. Yeah, Alabama, you know, obviously people are going to question whether they've played anybody, but by our numbers, they've done exactly what you would expect the best team in college football to do. They are clear. The difference between them and Clemson at two is about the same as the difference between Clemson and, you know, number seven uh, with LSU here. So there's a big disparity. Alabama deserves to be at the top there. And then from here, we have Clemson, right? beat NC State convincingly, uh, one last week against Florida State, also convincingly, and then we have Notre Dame. Since week one, they've been week by week just, you know, taking care of business, and I think as a surprise for number four, we have Georgia coming off a big win uh, against Florida last week. So the, again, this is where the big debate will be starting. This is going to be very different from, I think, what the playoff committee has, because LSU beat Georgia. Oklahoma's in the mix. Michigan is in the mix, yep. but per our numbers that are strictly based, on, based off our grades and how well teams have performed, we're going with Georgia. Why Georgia over some of these other teams who are very close in our numbers? Yeah, LSU has had an impressive season. There's no doubt about it. They beat teams, uh, a few teams in the, that have been ranked, including some in the top 10. But if you look back at their win against Auburn, they were very much outplayed in that game. And so for our numbers, we would actually give Auburn a win in that respect. So that you know, lowers them a little bit. Also, this is a predictive model, right? So when we look at LSU against Alabama this week, they're probably going to get their second loss of the season. So, you know, kind of looking ahead here, not necessarily looking at resumes so much as looking at what will actually happen. So LSU kind of a bit out of there uh, as well. Michigan, week one, lost at Notre Dame as favorites, right? That's going to sort of work its way all the way to uh, this ranking here. So from, our, uh, from where we said, I think Georgia, from a predictive standpoint, as they did a season ago, will look favorably in the college football playoff to, to compete with the teams like Alabama and Clemson and Notre Dame. Yeah, a team like Michigan hasn't had a ton of really impressive wins. They got a big challenge with Penn State this weekend. You mentioned LSU. I think they're going to lose by a lot to Alabama, and we won't be having this discussion a week from now. Maybe they will. I think Oklahoma is that sneaky team, though. We have them at five. So I, for us, it's Oklahoma and Georgia. And again, from the perspective of if the college football playoff started today, who's that fourth team who has the best chance to win it? I think it's tough to argue that it's, that it's not Georgia, despite what happened against LSU a few weeks ago. Yeah, Kyler Murray's done a tremendous job this year filling, you know, for Baker Mayfield, but, uh, you know, their defense has struggled at, at times, especially against a team like Texas, right? Texas was shown to be somewhat of a fraud this week. So uh, in terms of which team will do better moving forward, we think that Georgia more a, a more complete team, a more solid team. Uh, and, and as you said, it's hard, sort of hard to argue that they will you know, perform well uh, you know, come January. We'll see if the committee agrees with us, but we're going Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, and then Georgia at number four. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. You guys are always so kind in the comments to us, to Eric especially when it comes to our rankings. I know you guys always buy in. Special thanks to Eckridge the official smoked sausage of the college football playoff. Don't forget to pick up Eckridge Smoked Sausage at your local grocery store for this weekend's tailgate or home gate party. And make sure to visit EckridgeFootball.com for great game day recipes and to enter their season-long million-dollar challenge.